Hi, I'm, I'm Stephen Stoufflet, uh, um, the sales manager at Robinson Lumber Company. Worked for Robinson Lumber Company for 40 years. Well, prior to Robinson, I spent two years at Georgia Pacific. I was a nighttime warehouse supervisor. And at the time, one of the salesmen from GP left and come work for Robinson Lumber Company to start a building materials division. And they needed someone to run the yard out in Chalmette. And so they said, hey, $4,000 more a year and you'll work days. So I went from $14,000 a year to $18,000 a year. Jumped on the job right away. And probably after about six months, they uh, said, hey, you'd be good in sales. And so they moved me into the office. And about six months after that, the building materials division kind of collapsed here in New Orleans, uh, part of it because the oil uh, industry. At that time, when they, uh, when they closed down the division, uh, I approached Ivan's Robinson and told him that, uh, that you need a guy to sell mahogany in North America. And I told him I was the man for the job, and he said, okay, we'll try. And so, I started working very close with Mr. Charlie Robinson, who was selling mahogany to the furniture market, all the low grade, and my job was to sell the high grade to distribution yards throughout North America. So that's kind of my path into, the, into where I am today. I'd say the best part of the job in general is the travel, number one. I've been all over South America, North America, you know, many times, and uh, that's been, I have a sense of adventure, and so that certainly has been a lot of fun, going to sawmills in the jungle and boat rides up the Amazon, and, and just meeting people all around the United States has been very cool. I'd say my ideal customer is, well, first off, one who pays his bills, but they really view their relationship with their vendors as partnerships. That's the kind of guy I want to sell. You know, it's got to be a fair deal for both of you. What's better, hardwoods or softwoods? <laughs> Definitely hardwoods. Definitely hardwoods. They last longer. They're beautiful. You know, the items that you make out of hardwoods are, are generational. They'll last, you know, for, for 100 years or more. It's the only renewable resource. That in a nutshell. And it's just beautiful. Well, I'd have to say my favorite's genuine mahogany. It's, it's what I cut my teeth on. I, I've always loved that dark, rich beauty. Uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the, the, the hardwoods, uh, products made from hardwoods will last a lifetime. And I'm also very partial to canary wood and uh, Bolivian rosewood. I just think those two species are absolutely beautiful. What is your greatest lumber accomplishment? Well, I think the fact that I've worked for the same company for 40 years and worked for three generations of the, of the, the family that owned the company and the fact that I have friendships that have lasted, you know, my entire career in the business and, and dealing with some of those, uh, like the fathers and then their sons and then their grandchildren, I think that's, that's quite an accomplishment as well. But I've had some pretty good jobs that I liked as you know, also uh, selling the, uh, the gym floor at the University of Oregon was kind of cool. It, it, it appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated, you know, and it's, uh, it was made out of Ipe. It was 15,000 feet of Ipe flooring, uh, and that was fun being a part of that. Also being part of uh, a couple of the projects over at the World War II Museum.